Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl Pretty V, always looking dashy and pretty for you guys. Yes, today is a new setting, no more shooting room, no more formal stuff. I'm just literally cozying in my little nice kind of dream bedroom. Yeah, anyways guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to welcome my new subbies. How are you all doing? Hope you all are doing well, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, welcome to my new subbies. Welcome to this world of creativity, beauty, loads of talent. Talking about creativity, I did this choker. I'm literally going to be putting up um, some DIYs choker that you all need to know about. Like, I can't be slain on my own. Do you get what I mean? Like, I need to share this talent. Anyways, yeah. I think I literally need to put a copyright on this anyways. Because I literally say... Anyways, in literally, I think it's like my breaking point of trying to get into another point and everything. Yeah, welcome to my new subways for all those that are staying here with the pretty gang family. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, guys. Yes, so today we're doing our part two. Yes, our part two of our QA get to know me more, get to know me much better, and the questions are loaded, guys. Thank I like, I literally appreciate all those that gave me these questions. Stay tuned and let's go. Okay, yes, so I just don't think I'm gonna start with and let us own the alerts. And if I don't get to maybe call your name while I'm answering your question, guys, the questions were so much that I couldn't even remember who gave me work because I was writing it in my little notebook. So please do not vex with me and just pity this girl. It's not easy. So many questions that I didn't even know how to deal with it, but I'll try as much as possible to answer everyone. So, okay, let the game start. Let the game start. Yeah, so okay, the first one by Allah she was like, what makes me laugh the most? Mm. What makes me laugh the most? Come on, come on, come on. All right, everything, anything that is funny, anything. Uh, I don't want to say food. Uh, I don't know anything funny, anything that I just like. I don't know how to answer that. I think, I don't know. So many things make me laugh, like anything that is funny, anything that I like. I don't know what to be specific, but anything that I like or anything that is like little. Little, literally funny, I would definitely laugh out my lungs or jokes. Let me say so, yeah. And okay. what did you want to be when you were small? Okay, what did I want to like? Who did I want to be when I was small? When I uh, grow up, I think, um, I think I've always wanted to be a dancer, I've always wanted to be a dancer to all these, um, very big musicians when i was still back home coffee all me day all these uh, like they were my f they were i was literally like their fans all the onions were if you're from Cameroon, you know all these people um jackie bio petit pay i've always wanted to be a dancer i did not know what i was going to do about it but i knew that ha if i tell my parents i wanted to be a dancer literally i was going to be cut off i was going to be cut off to the family that how dare you i'm sending you to school and then you don't want to go to school you want to be a dancer but i think that was it though then when i was now kind of growing up now business that they're coming into my head but literally when i was small i wanted to become a dancer if you if you could choose to do anything for a day what would it be oh my god travel i don't want to say i don't like walking but if i was to choose what i would do in a day travel like in a day go to so many places like let me not say tourists but just travel to a place where i'm going to discover a lot take anyways i'm just that kind of person that i like to like discover places and check to know how this place is like yeah so i would just literally love to travel everywhere if i could travel in a day take pictures or whatever thing i i do have memories go to like very unique places and all that and then the next one is what is your favorite game or sport to watch and play um i think because my whole family, everybody's like a basketballer. I think I've always loved to play basketball, but I, I didn't have that time. And I was one of those ones that too much like, like the boy. Like I literally, I feel like I was just the younger girl. All my own was literally to swag. So let me say my favorite game. I would say basketball. My favorite, oh no, no, no. Okay. My favorite game is um, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, my, my favorite game is Mortal Kombat and I love to play my Mortal Kombat as she said, all sports to watch and play. Um, I would love, I love to watch basketball, but I don't think basketball is something that I would play, something like that, yeah. So my favorite game is Mortal Kombat and sports, sports I like to watch is basketball slash football and 
would you rather ride a bike ride a horse or drive a car you know i like to ride a bike but listen uh in this world belief i don't think bike can take me to everywhere i like but i've always wanted to like own you know this low kind of motorbikes or something yeah kind of oh and she means a bike is it like a bicycle i don't know now nah, i literally i'm gonna go with driving a car <laughs> i want to own my own car which would you rather do wash dishes mon the lawn clean the bathroom or vacuum the house uh, now nah, i'll literally put vacuum the house yeah because to wash dishes i don't think when they are alert it puts me off to mon the lawn no i've never done it before clean the bathroom i always do or vacuum the house but i think i prefer to vacuum the house because it's more quick and easier <laughs> yes and then the next one was if you could hire someone to help you would it be cleaning cooking or yard work yard work oh my god garden god, i love gardening but listen these little weeds that grow in between your flowers i literally hate them i think if i have to hire someone for someone to do a job for me it would definitely because she said would it be cleaning cooking or not nah, definitely not cooking i like the way i cook my own food so i wouldn't prefer anyone to cook food for me nor my partner so i would definitely you definitely be yard work like garden and everything and then she said if you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life what would that be noodles i think noodles are the only thing that makes noodles and egg those are the only thing that i feel like even if i want to say plantain i know sometimes i don't really want to eat plantains but i love noodles i love indomie so much that i have my own specific way of pretty this noodles that i do in the microwave like i love noodles i will eat noodles even if it wake me up 1 a.m in the morning so noodles are my kind of thing so yes i think oh the literally the question still continue have you ever had a nickname and what was it yeah my nickname was mom mom like mom mom <laughs> yeah that's my nickname now my parents everyone called me back home do you like or dislike surprises why or why not i love surprises it's just kind of very cute in the way you're not expecting anything kind of like increases your adrenaline like <clears throat> But it should be a good surprise though. I don't like horrible surprises, but I do love good surprises. Who yeah, would see and she was saying, um, have I got any projects I'm working on at the mini other than YouTube? Yeah, I've got some projects that I'm working at the mini. One is a partnership with the Ying to my yang, and it's literally on standby for now because of some reasons. And otherwise, I've got like project definitely on beauty on beauty brands and everything but for now i'm not literally gonna hype anyone up but definitely i've got some things cooking and it will just literally take me time and everything but i don't want to say anything for now then not to hype people up and then it feels like oh vanessa what's happening so yeah definitely i've got some things coming up yes and the next question was asked by bella and she was like what's my age lady are you not a lady listen we'll discuss that one in private on private chat luckily definitely i know you but I'm not gonna pour down my age here, but you do know my age. And if you don't know it, well, definitely gonna chat. My birthday is coming up, maybe by then, by June, you know how old I am. Love you. I know you're gonna be upset, but we'll chat that later. Anyways, yeah, so the next question was which one can you do without eyelash, eyebrows, or lipstick? Ay, that is a hard one. Anyways, one, I'm not really an eyelash person, I just literally started putting on eyelashes so i would say eyelashes it goes it's a go away eyebrows i'm not really an eyebrow person but you can't deal without eyebrow or lipstick i do love lipstick okay you know what i'm literally gonna say lip i can't do without lipstick because eyebrows i'm definitely gonna be putting on fringe 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 i'm fringe because i can't do without lippies i love lipstick so so much my eyebrows i don't really care about eyebrows and eyelash i just literally said putting on eyelash so eyelash is not literally gonna be anything that i'll be like i can't do without so yeah i'll definitely take lipstick i can't do without my lipsticks and what is your most embarrassing moment oh my god listen for now i can just remember that my most embarrassing moment was when i was really young because i was a very chubby baby 
chubby child very quiet and so so dark i can't even say black so so dark the melanin was too much when i was young so yes most embarrassing moment for me was when i was that young my siblings we all went to the market and we're just young i don't know where my parents were but literally ran to the market i think they told us to go buy something i don't know i can't really remember but all i know is that we were in the market and oops sorry to say but i wasn't wearing any underpants or oh, it's embarrassing <laughs> i wasn't wearing any underpants and i was wearing a skater skirt and they were running i was literally following them and i fell down and my skater skirt came off right to my head like the wind literally just said today we're literally gonna show this little maggot people in this market what you own literally and my skirt went up and my bum bum was open but thank god my yon yon was very close and everyone in the market saw my bum bum i was literally so embarrassed i think if I think of it, that was like my most embarrassing moment. I don't think growing up I had anyone, but that was my most embarrassing moment if I can remember. I was literally very, very young. And I think if I can remember, this one was asked by, um, if I can remember very well, oh, yeah. This question was asked by Dolly and she said, jeans or leggings for an entire year? Jeans. I'm not literally a leggings person, so definitely all different types of jeans, I'm for it and i think this one was asked by nunu she said who is my favorite youtuber i think patricia is my favorite i think i used to like tony tony all over there but for some reasons my love for her started dropping but i still love her but my most favorite and i love jackie Anya as well but my most favorite is patricia bright yes i think that is she's my favorite and what are my regrets in life? I don't know who asked me this one, but what are my regrets in life? I did some, I I did some few kind of stuff that I would think that let me maybe regret and like, I think, I, like for me now I've grown up, I just feel like I have no regrets. It was, it's like a, a regret, but I wouldn't really say I have some regrets in life because I feel like everything I went through that looked like a regret for me kind of straightened me and it kind of taught me a different way in life if I, I don't know if i'm making any sense yes yeah, so i wouldn't really say i have any regrets in life but i just feel like every situation happens for a reason and for you to learn and yeah so i wouldn't really say i have any regrets in life they're just lessons in taught to human beings to grow up and become stronger i don't know about some people but i don't think i have any regrets anything that i went through i put myself into it i put myself into it and then i came out and then like conquered and i wouldn't really say their regrets because i don't think i can live with regrets because literally my life is going to be upside down and yes and the last and the most famous because i'm literally gassing out there i'm not, i don't even have air to breathe anymore and the last question is how will i describe myself hated and the reason why i'm going to put it complicated is just because if you don't get to know me if you don't get too close to me and let your guards to like know me better you just literally feel i'm the most horrible person that's why i feel like when i mean complicated because the things you think i like that the things that doesn't even work with me and it's just very funny it's just that kind of thing i always be like i don't think i can be friends with everyone because most of the time i just find people's reasoning and their doings very very funny that i feel like i'm in a different world but for them it's literally no more so for me i feel like one thing i'm gonna say is that i'm complicated and then two i'm a very straightforward person very very blonde and it will come across to so many people like i'm a very rude person which i don't really care about because i just feel like every opinion really counts down to like truthfulness if i should tell you something you feel like i'm too blonde i'm too straightforward and i've heard your feelings that's literally your cup of tea because most of the time people throw back those things to me but i don't think it really does hurt me because i feel like okay you said it and that's the truth and then thirdly i'm a very lovely person when you get to know me i'm a very forgiving person if you get to know me so well like i'm not that forgiving by the way but i'm learning but there are some things that some people really do to me that i feel like i will literally forgive you without you even knowing but i will literally keep you far away from me because i want to protect my own heart and i want to protect my happiness and i want to protect my surroundings yeah and then i love to laugh a lot i don't know 
I love to laugh a lot. I love to smile. I love to make people around me smile. And yeah, I don't know. There are lots of things that you can describe me. Kind, straightforward, complicated, um, very cheerful, very joyful, laughing. I don't know. Love to give as well. So I've got a lot of things I can describe myself. So I, I just think I'll just put myself like, I would describe myself like a rainbow, literally, you know, there's definitely a storm. That storms like guess there's a storm of rain and after that storm of rain you see like a very beautiful colors of rainbow and all those colors of rainbow those that's me i've got different shades of characteristics yeah and talent and at the end of a rainbow there's always like a pot of gold so that's just me styling joyful and everything and when you want to come and package my whole me i'm just literally like a little Pot of gold so that is just me so I wouldn't say I'm perfect I wouldn't say I'm the best so that's the best way I think I'm gonna describe myself complicated lovely at the same time so that is just how I'm gonna describe myself so yes guys we are coming to the end of this video Whew. was that not a long one that was like the longest time I've spoken in my life when I'm doing like talk videos that literally always very short and very precise so yes guys hopefully i got to answer your questions this is gonna be the end of the session of getting to know me i tried my best i post i did post around my social media if you have any questions to ask me and so these are the questions that i could get that people ask me so i tried my best to answer them and kind of yeah there will be no opportunity again for you to ask me the question to answer to get to know me more maybe in the future that will maybe want to do like a season three or a part three of this so i hope i answer your question so well and i hope you guys enjoy this video so so anyways yeah stay tuned do not forget to subscribe give this video a big thumbs up and do not forget to also share this video so i'll catch you guys later in my next video bye